Thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. And here we are discussing the role of AI to assist humans in making better decisions. And a perfect illustration of that is the IBM Debater Project. And to talk about it, we are joined by Mr. Noam Slonim, Distinguished Engineer at IBM Research. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And you are obviously the initiator of this project. And this project is all about capturing the narrative of the global population on controversial issues. So why did you start this project? What were you trying to prove or to show? So we started this project in 2011, or actually in 2012. Uh, it was uh, in response to a uh, call for proposals in IBM research looking for the next grand challenge. After chess in the 90s and Watson in jeopardy in 2011, uh, I had this notion of developing a machine that will be able to debate humans. It seemed impossible at the beginning. Over time, we gained more confidence that this is doable. We worked on that for more than six years and eventually demonstrated the system just a few months ago in San Francisco. Full live debate between project debater and one of the superb human debaters that in the history of university debate competitions. And shortly after that, we started to develop project debater speech by cloud, where the, the, the notion is really to ask what will happen if you will collect a lot of arguments from many different individuals about a controversial topic can we generate, can we use the technology to automatically generate a compelling narrative out of that to enhance decision making? So this is what we do. So how do you connect the arguments to data? Because that's an important process, isn't it? And it's got to be ethical and to be inclusive and representative of everyone's opinion, I imagine. Yes, so I think that uh, uh, people uh, will tend to respond to topics that they care about. Right? So if I pose a controversial topic to you, but you don't really care about, chances are you will not bother to contribute arguments about that. So I think this is one part of the question, trying to engage people on topics that they really care about. So we think that project debater speech by cloud can allow us to establish better communication between decision makers and the target audience. So for example, a government which is considering a policy and the citizens that, that are going to be affected by this policy. Today, we really don't have the means to ask them for their opinion in a sophisticated and effective manner. So this is one of the issues that we think we can address. That's a very interesting point. Can we imagine the system replacing votes, for instance, in the future? I don't think it will replace the decision makers, but it will help them. Th this is my feeling. Okay. Because really, put yourself in a position of a decision maker that you really want to take a good decision for a, for a change, okay? And you, ask, you, you want to hear the opinion of the people that are going to be impacted by your decision. What options do you have today? Right? Not so many. So you can do a survey. But in surveys, usually people respond to very simple questions, right? You give them closed questions, and they vote yes or no. Then you take the average. This is fine. This is one possibility. But we believe we can do way beyond that. So today at the summit you unveiled, uh, and it was an exclusive, wasn't it, the results of a question you put out to the public in May, which was about social media and whether it does more harm than good. Mm -hmm. And you presented the positive outcomes, but it's also possible to find the, the, well, the negative views on the question. Yes, this, this is a good point. So I, I shared with the audience here in the United Nations the one of the two narratives that the system generated. We got more than uh, 1,700 arguments from many people all over the globe. Okay? And the system automatically identifies whether a particular argument is supporting or contesting the topic about social media. And then it generates two narratives. Okay? I shared only the one that supports social media and this was reflecting of about 54% of the arguments that we got. But 46% of the arguments that we got, according to the system, were against social media. So people are welcome to, to go to the Project Debater Speech by Cup website and see the other narrative. Now, you have been working on this project for a long time, haven't you? A yeah. Around seven years, I think you told me earlier? Yeah. So I, I started that as a single slide proposal back in 2011. 
So for me, it's more than eight years now, but the actual work started about seven years ago. And it's grown, and you're not just working with data scientists and programmers, you also mm -hmm. work with people with soft skills, because that's important, and I think that's the point we're trying to make at the AI for Good Global Summit, that it's not just about hard skills and science and technology, it's also about philosophy, the arts, and other areas, and other areas of expertise as well. Yeah, I think this is a good point. So first of all, we have an amazing team of researchers in IBM Research that made this happen. So these are experts in, you know, architecture of the system and natural language understanding and artificial intelligence and so on. But it is true that you need additional people with other skills. So we had people with, uh, I would say, attitude to text. We had even a PhD student from the philosophy department. And it was quite an interdisciplinary team, quite heterogeneous, which was part of the fun working on this project. One more question to finish with. What's your vision for the debater? Where do you see it in 10 or 15 years time? Uh, I think the debater is really just the beginning. Okay? It touches on a very fundamental problem understanding the pros and cons for taking better decisions. This is something that we experience all the time. And if you think about it, there are not so many AI technologies designed explicitly to help us take better decisions. So this is what we are trying to accomplish here. I think we made significant progress and we believe that we will make even further progress in the future. Noam Slonim, thank you so much. Thank you.